again, my name is Gabe Zolno. This is the 9th of March, 2019. Article on Chicago Tribune. Jesse Smollett indicted on 16 counts over allegedly phony claims of racist, homophobic attack. Hmm. This was written by Megan Crepeau, C-R-E-P-E-A-U. The thing is that a grand jury can't indict anyone on anything. I sat on a grand jury. What happens on a grand jury is that the prosecution presents evidence to the jurors sitting on a grand jury. And each one of these counts is an actual crime. And the grand jury determines if there's sufficient evidence presented by the prosecution to present that evidence to a jury trial. And the term that's used is a true bill. So in this instance, the grand jury in Cook County agreed that on the 16 counts, each one of those counts, there was sufficient evidence provided, which resulted in a true bill being applied to each one. And at the end of the day, a federal judge listens to the grand jury's foreman on each one of the counts. That's what this means. Now, what's interesting is that there's no mention at this point of what might happen as a result of the letter having been sent by, apparently, Jesse Smollett to himself. Did a little bit of research. That act alone could result in a 20-year sentence and a $250,000 fine if he's found guilty of that one crime alone. Depending on which article you read, this article says that each one of those 16 counts could result in either probation or three years. Another article I read said it could result in four years. Either way, it's quite likely that Jesse Smollett, if found guilty by his peers, might in fact spend the rest of his life in a prison. He's 36. So if he's convicted on all 16, exclusive of having sent a letter to himself, which again, that one by itself, from what I've read, can result in a 20-year prison sentence and a $250,000 fine. There's also an interesting video put up by Brian of High Impact Flicks. I think you find it to be somewhat entertaining. The reality is that Chicago has to drop the hammer on Justice Smollett. So other people don't act as copycats. Justice Smollett has to appear in court as to how he pleads on those 16 charges. And again, that doesn't include the letter. I'm sure that will be presented to him relatively soon. It's truly amazing how stupid some people are, how they can destroy not only their future financially, but their freedom as well. All for greed. I'll attach the links. You look at them. You pass them along to your like-minded friends. You want to repost this on all your social media accounts. Thanks for listening.